Welcome! Today we will show you an operating system that we call a master of disguise. To find out which one is that, stay with us. Zubuntu is a rock-solid, stable and dependable operating system. Many users call it simply a workhorse. They find it lightweight, fast and easy to use. However, its default looks is not to everyone's taste. Many users find it outdated and spend a lot of time customizing it right after they install it on their computers. But actually, what you can do with it is quite amazing. This is how it looks when first installed. Many users on social media argue that it even reminds them of the Windows XP era. So let's start changing it. First thing you can do is you can right-click on the desktop and choose to change the desktop background. Zubuntu offers some nice wallpapers out of the box. For the purpose of the video, we have chosen this one. The next thing we need to do is to install a very powerful software tool that we will use in the process, and that is Synaptic Package Manager. In the upper left hand corner of your screen you will find your start menu, and there, there is Ubuntu software app that you need to open. Search for the Synaptic Package Manager and install it. Then you need to open it and there, in the Zubuntu repositories, you can find many popular desktop icon and window manager themes. For the purpose of the video, we have chosen an installed Arc desktop and Window Manager theme and Papyrus icon pack. To apply the changes, you need to click on the tiny mouse icon in the upper left hand corner, then type in Appearance in the search box and start the Appearance application. Style tab is offered by default, and there you need to choose the Arc theme. Next, you need to click on the Icons tab and choose the Papyrus icon theme. Then close the Appearance window and again you need to open the Start menu. There, search for the Window Manager and open it. Choose the corresponding Arc style and close the window. Now, if you open the home folder, you will see the new theme in its full swing. If you want to add even some more themes to your desktop, you can find them on the xfc-look.org website. For instance, we will download the Pro Dark XFC Edition theme and Corolla icon pack. Once downloaded, you need to extract those files in the downloads folder. Then open the home folder and in the view menu tick the show hidden files box. For the purpose of the video we had to create .icons and .themes folders respectively. Then 
the next step is to cut the extracted Corolla folder to .icons folder and the extracted Prodark XFC edition folder to .themes folder. Now you can tick off the show hidden files box in the home folder and close the window. Now you need to search for the appearance app in the start menu one more time and simply enable new theme and icon set, including the change in window manager menu. If you like your panel on the top of the screen, as it is offered in the default setup, you can add another one, which will serve you as an application launcher. You can achieve that by right-clicking on the panel, then Go Panel and Panel Preferences. The next thing is clicking on the plus sign, and there you are, you have another panel. Move it to the bottom of the screen and lock it. The next thing you need to do is to click on the Items tab and now, for the purpose of the video, we will show you how to add 5 launcher items to your new panel. For demonstration purposes only, we will add file search, web browser, an image editing app, document editor and email client to the new panel. And the list of the things you can do with your desktop goes on and on. Here we have some more tricks you can do with your desktop. Many users are accustomed to open the start menu by pressing the super key on their keyboards. In Zubuntu it doesn't work that way. You need to press Ctrl and Escape keys simultaneously. But you can change this behavior and here is how. At the bottom of the Start menu you will find the Settings app icon. Click on it and when it opens, enter the keyboard in the search box. Click on it and then click on the Application Shortcuts tab. Look for the XFC4 pop-up whisker menu and click on it. A window will open asking you to press the keyboard keys you want to use to trigger the appropriate command. Simply press the Super or Windows key if you like and that's it. What makes Zubuntu's XFC desktop really amazing? is that you can add even more eye candy. Search for the Window Manager Tweaks in the Start menu, click on the Compositor tab and there you can make many components of your desktop transparent. Here are the results.
Or if you don't like Zubuntu's default wallpapers, you can add some new ones too. For instance, open the pixabay.com website in your browser and choose an image of your liking. Download it and find it in your downloads folder. Right click the image and choose Set as Wallpaper option. Now, your desktop looks completely different. You might not like to have your panel on the top of the screen. Right-click on the panel and choose Panel Preferences option. Unlock your lower panel and move it somewhere else on the screen. Then switch to your main panel, unlock it and simply drag it to the bottom of the screen. In the same way, you can place your secondary panel to the top of the screen. In addition to that, you can resize your panel and make it bigger if you want. In the XFC desktop, you can even customize the start menu. First. You can make your icons bigger if you wish to do so. Now, here is how your desktop looks. Here we have some screenshots to show you what you can do with your Zubuntu desktop. From the ugly duckling to a beautiful swan, that's how we call this change. But, as mentioned in our previous videos, if you don't have time or will to fiddle around with your operating system, or you just need something that is ready out of the box, we recommend you Peppermint OS. Peppermint OS is a pre-configured operating system for its users. Many desktop themes here called widgets are pre-installed. The same goes for icon themes. For the purpose of the video, we have changed the default widget and icon theme into blue. In Peppermint OS, everything is out of the box ready for users. So, for instance, you don't have to configure your start menu. You can switch menu categories simply by hovering, which is something that you need to customize in Zubuntu. Another example is that in Peppermint OS you will find even more wallpapers out of the box. Of course, if you don't like the defaults, you can as easily change it in Peppermint OS as in Zubuntu. The beauty of Linux is that you can customize anything that you don't like. We have shown you how to do it in Zubuntu and Peppermint OS. Thanks for watching and see you next time.